In the endless expanse of the universe, one force reigns supreme, shaping the cosmos and guiding the motion of celestial bodies. Gravity. Since the dawn of human curiosity, the enigma of gravity has captivated minds and sparked revolutions in our understanding of the world. From the mesmerizing dance of planets to the breathtaking spectacle of cosmic collisions, from the beautiful creation of life to the dark mysteries of black hole, from the falling of ball to the formation of galaxies. Gravity shapes the very fabric of our existence. Prepare to embark on a thrilling adventure through the annals of history, where every discovery illuminates the path towards a deeper comprehension of the cosmos. Get ready to be mesmerized as we journey through the wonders of gravity and unlock the secrets of the universe in this episode of Story of Science. Hello, I'm your host and you are watching SOS. The story starts in 4th century BCE. Greek philosopher Aristotle proposed that all objects possessed a natural place in the cosmos determined by their elemental composition. Objects, he argued, had a natural tendency to move downward towards the center of the Earth. In Aristotle's worldview, this natural motion was intrinsic to the objects, results heavier objects fall faster than lighter ones. Philosopher Brahmagupta in year 628 CE, in his book Brahmas Futta Siddhanta, described gravity as an attractive force, using the term Gurutva Karsan to describe it. He said, the earth on all its sides is the same. All people on the earth stand upright and all heavy things fall down to the earth by a law of nature. For it is the nature of the earth to attract and to keep things as it is the nature of water to flow. Ancient scholars may not have developed mathematical equations or formalized theories of gravity like their modern counterparts. Their philosophical and observational insights contributed to a holistic understanding of the cosmos. The modern story starts with the collaboration between Tycho Brahe and Johannes Kepler, which stands as a testament to the power of observation, analysis and perseverance. During the 16th century, the Danish astronomer Tycho Brahe amassed a vast amount of astronomical data at his observatory, Uraniborg, located in Sweden. Over decades, Brahe meticulously recorded the positions of various planets and comets, amassing a treasure of observations. Despite his groundbreaking work, Brahe's views often clashed with established norms leading to tension with the Danish monarchy. In 1597, Danish King Christian IV compelled Brahe to leave Denmark. Brahe found a new home in Prague, where he was welcomed as the official imperial astronomer. In Prague, he constructed a new observatory and continued his astronomical observations. It was in Prague that Brahe crossed paths with a young German astronomer, Johannes Kepler, and hired him as assistant. Armed with decades of meticulous data, Kepler embarked on a monumental quest to unravel the mysteries of planetary motion. Kepler experimented with 18 different shapes for planetary orbits, each one failing to match Brahe's data. However, through sheer persistence and unwavering dedication, he eventually stumbled upon the solution, the ellipse. Kepler unveiled his groundbreaking laws of planetary motion in 1609. He said that, all planets move around Sun in elliptical orbits, with Sun at one of its focus. The beauty of Kepler's laws lies in the fact that they were all empirically derived from data, without any reliance on mathematics. His discoveries laid the groundwork for theory of universal gravitation. In the annals of scientific history, few tales are as exhilarating as the journey of Galileo Galilei, whose groundbreaking experiments transformed our understanding of gravity. Galileo's quest began in the early 17th century as he embarked onto a journey to prove that all objects fall at same rate, contrary to Aristotle's belief that heavy objects fall faster. Legend has it that he climbed the iconic Leaning Tower of Pisa and dropped objects of varying masses to study their acceleration. While the truth of this tale is debated, Galileo's actual experiments involved inclined planes and rolling balls. He constructed smooth inclined surfaces, angled at various degrees for studying the behavior of rolling bodies. By carefully adjusting the incline and measuring the time it took for objects to travel certain distances. With meticulous precision, 
Galileo observed how objects of different masses behaved exactly same when placed on these inclined planes. Galileo discovered that all objects fall towards Earth at same rate and gave a new direction to our understanding of gravity by destroying Aristotle's idea. He also mentioned that the observed behavior of heavier objects falling faster is due to the additional force of air resistance. Through daring experiments and relentless pursuit of knowledge, Galileo Galilei forever changed the trajectory of human understanding, propelling us towards a deeper comprehension of the cosmos. Now brace yourselves for an exhilarating journey into the world of Sir Isaac Newton, a visionary whose genius revolutionized our understanding of gravity and provided the mathematical framework to define this fundamental force. Newton's first insight was that all masses attract each other with an attractive force. He postulated that the force responsible for the falling of objects to Earth and the force responsible for keeping moons and planets in orbit are one and the same. Although Newton's predecessors had hinted at same type of gravitational phenomena, Newton's greatness lay in his ability to back his assertions with logical reasoning and rigorous mathematical proofs. Legend has it that a falling apple sparked Newton's exploration into the laws of gravity. However, the reality is that Newton's inspiration came from the groundbreaking works of Galileo and Kepler. Newton's second insight was a brilliant fusion of Kepler's law of elliptical orbits and his own equation of motion, F equals mass times acceleration. He realized that the force of gravity should diminish with square of distance between sun and planet for the orbit to be elliptical. The farther apart the objects, the weaker the gravitational pull. Next, drawing inspiration from Galileo's observations of falling objects, he embarked on his third insight. Recognizing that all objects fall with the same acceleration, Newton harnessed the power of his laws of motion to unveil a profound truth. If the force of gravity is indeed proportional to the mass of an object, then the resulting acceleration must be constant. It means force of gravity is proportional to mass of object. Based on above three insight and lot of mathematical reasoning, Newton gave his law of universal gravitation in 1687, which states that every particle in the universe attracts every other particle with a force that is directly proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them, expressed mathematically as g m1 m2 upon r squared. Newton's law of universal gravitation not only explained the motion of celestial bodies, but also predicted the existence of new planets and provided insights into previously unexplained phenomena. Through his laws of motion and gravity, Newton explained the orbits of comets, the tides of the seas, and the dynamics of the solar system. Newton's law of gravity remained unchallenged for centuries until the advent of Albert Einstein's theory of relativity in 1905. Before Einstein's revolutionary insights, discussions of gravity revolved around its existence rather than its underlying mechanisms. Why masses attract each other? Einstein's contributions provided a quantum leap in our understanding. He articulated that masses curve the space around them and other objects traverse this curved space. He eloquently expressed that mass dictates how space bends and in turn space dictates the motion of mass within it. In his words, the force of gravity is not a distinct entity, but rather our interpretation of curved space. Einstein's groundbreaking theory fundamentally changed our perception of gravity. This symbiotic relationship between mass and space unveiled a profound truth about the nature of gravity. With Einstein's insights, the enigmatic force of gravity was no longer a mysterious pull between objects, but rather a consequence of the very fabric of space-time itself. As we reflect on the journey of gravity through the ages, from Aristotle to Galileo to Newton to Einstein's theory of relativity, we are reminded of the remarkable progress of human knowledge and the enduring quest to unravel the mysteries of the universe. But the story of gravity is far from over. As we continue to probe the depths of the cosmos and push the boundaries of our understanding, we are bound to encounter new revelations and insights that will shape the course of scientific inquiry for generations to come. Thanks for watching. For more interesting science stories, subscribe to SOS. If you find the story interesting, please like the video and share it with your friends. For any suggestion, leave a comment. See you in the next video.